What's going on guys? Back with the Obstacle Series and I'm here with Thunder. Thunder's been a, a great companion for the spooky stuff because he's a spooky dude and has big movement. But now the next thing that we're going to do is go through the cowboy curtains. Same thing, we've already done this. If you've watched the, if you've watched the Respect Series, Obstacles 101, we do this in the round pin, but now we're doing it in a great wide open. Remember, when you go from an enclosed area that has you uh, encapsulated to a big open area, there's no difference. The rules of the jungle still apply. If you control the head, you control the horse. If he tries to booger off or run off across this big open field with me, I'm gonna take his face to his butt until his back feet cross over and that's gonna take his, his power away and his ability to run away with me. His motor's in the back. Every time you cross his feet over, you're taking the motor away. Things to have, a natural horsemanship halter or a snaffle. Uh, I like to have a crop because anything that I'm trying to get forward, I'm just looking for redirection. So. This is a, a job for a crop. Uh, I have spurs on, it just happened to be just because I got on this horse, but I'm not using the spurs for this, I'm using the crop because I wanna take his face and move his butt. So we're gonna come right over here to, to these cowboy curtains and we might not have any issue, but we'll see. Notice how I'm sitting back here and he's looking. In this scenario, I have a fence on one side, so I'm gonna be wanting to guide that horse to the fence. Every obstacle that I do, I'm going to give him the chance to go through it and then I want to disengage him and face him up. At this stage of the game, this early on, them willing to go through this stuff, you can't hold them back and tell them to go slow. First stage is we have to get them committing to going through the water, to going through the stuff. So right there where he speeds up, I want to disengage him. Disengage him. This is going to take that, that want to run through stuff. If that horse is more worried about the disengagement, he's going to think about that as opposed to running through this stuff. Notice how he's hanging out on that loose rein. There we go. There we go. Good boy. His release comes from him realizing that, hey, it's not hurting me at all and my rider's not pressuring me anymore. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. That nice low headedness. Oh, good job, buddy. So just like that, if you're willing to redirect and redirect, if you have this ideology about you, the redirection, taking their butt from them and facing their fear, once you have control of that horse's head and his butt, you'll be comfortable riding that horse anywhere because if a cow pops out, you face the cow. You know, if, uh, if a car is passing by, you face the car and they get in the habit the horse's natural reaction is to turn tail to it and run away. We're changing that natural reaction because it's not a horse's fear that hurts you, it's their reaction to that fear. We're changing his natural reaction of spinning and running and we're making him face and face and face. Every one of these obstacles, he might get eight or 10 disengagements this first go around. Very quickly, you don't have to disengage him because he will face anything he's afraid of. Whenever they're facing, they're standing still and it's very difficult to get hurt at a standstill unless you've been drinking too much, which that's not the horse's fault. So face your fears, get that horse disengaged, and face the obstacle, and you'll never have to worry about your horse running off, bucking off, doing anything rough with you. See you in the next video, guys.